Ghost Cosmic Girl. This might look like a normal airplane flight. And yes, we are wheels up. But once it's in the sky, it's clear. It's actually a rocket launch. Richard Branson's Virgin Orbit made a big bet on launching satellites from airborne 747s. It was expected to be a cheaper and more flexible method than traditional rocket launches. And lift off to Starlink 2-8. But that bet hasn't paid off. In March, Virgin Orbit laid off 85% of its staff and filed for bankruptcy in April. Our runway was set, and our runway was, was shorter than when perhaps we needed. So what went wrong? Virgin Orbit started out as a branch of Richard Branson's larger space venture, Virgin Galactic, in 2012. Richard Branson, as has Elon Musk, as has Jeff Bezos, talks about space as an aspirational goal, as something about which he's passionate and believes is important. Carissa Christensen is an analyst who has been working in the space industry for 30 years. That aspirational vision is an unusual part of this business compared to an awful lot of others. In 2012, there was a growing market for small satellites. They are typically cheaper and easier to build than larger ones. But launching them was another story. Most had to hitch a ride on larger conventional launches, which were difficult to come by and sometimes didn't drop the satellite in the right place. So while Virgin was developing its spacecraft for human launches, it saw another opportunity. Say hello to Launcher One. Launcher One was a small launch vehicle that Virgin positioned as a small satellite solution. Small launch vehicles were a fairly small industry at the time. Launcher One was one of two new vehicles that went into development in 2012. The investment thesis being that those small satellites would value the opportunity to be launched on a smaller launcher because they could go where they wanted, when they wanted, and the total launch cost would be lower. As Branson told CNN, The current cost is about $40 million, $30, $40 million. We'll be able to do it for less than $10 million. Virgin planned to achieve this using that unique method of putting its rockets on modified Boeing 747s. In typical launches, rockets need one of these a powerful Stage 1 booster, to send it straight up into the atmosphere before smaller Stage 2 engines take over. Using a jet presented a faster, more flexible, and reusable way to get Launcher 1 closer to orbit before detaching to finish the trip. No launch pad required. The idea that you could launch from anywhere and that you would have flexibility with regard to when you launched was very attractive. And because you're not competing for launch sites, that was the thought that Virgin could provide that service. Then in 2017, Orbit spun off of Galactic with former Boeing executive Dan Hart at the helm. But there was an issue. It still hadn't had a single launch and competition in the space was growing. In 2020, the company made its first launch attempt, but it wasn't successful. Some disappointment that we, we didn't get to finish the flight and, and take it to orbit, but we were all prepared for that. We collected an enormous amount of data. To bring in revenue, the company needed to be making regular launches. In the meantime, Virgin Orbit was burning through cash. Analysts estimated the company had spent more than 400 million developing its launch system and it looked to raise more. Then, in January 2021, success. Launcher one's in space. The company deployed 10 small satellites into orbit for the first time. It made its first commercial launch in June. I think orbit right now are gonna concentrate on, on uh, satellites into orbit and, uh, and, you know, and, and, and just ramp up, you know, ramp up their capabilities. And ramp up their finances. Virgin Orbit decided to go public through a merger with a special purpose acquisition company, or SPAC. An earlier stage company trading publicly has a level of scrutiny and visibility into what it's doing that's very challenging for a company at that stage. But the listing didn't generate the 483 million Virgin Orbit was looking for. Instead, it ended up with less than half that. While Virgin continued its launches in 2022, Larger launches were becoming more accessible. New rideshare options, like one with SpaceX, catered to small satellite companies, and advances in technology made it easier to drop satellites in the right spot, 
unlike earlier large launches. It really is the taxi versus a bus. If you take a taxi, you'll, you'll pay a modest amount compared to hiring a whole bus. But if you just buy one seat on the bus, it's cheaper than taking the taxi. But Orbit still had one major relationship it could potentially lean on to bring in more funding, the UK Space Agency. A government entity is a good customer for small launch. And it was important for the UK because the UK has been expanding its presence in space and was looking for an opportunity to conduct launch from the UK. So in January, it planned the first ever launch to take place on UK soil, but it didn't go as planned. Uh, it appears that Launcher 1 has suffered an anomaly, which will prevent us from making orbit for this mission. The failure caused Orbit's stock to fall 14% that day, and it continued to slide. Investors are just not as risk tolerant. There's not much capital available. There are other places for that capital to go. And so particularly for a launch business, which needs a lot of capital, that becomes a problem. Virgin Orbit's layoffs and bankruptcy filing followed in the wake of that failed launch. The satellite launch firm tied to British billionaire Richard Branson failed to secure the funding needed to keep operating. My point is, in this environment, any, any execution failures are just going to be magnified. CEO Dan Hart said in a statement at the time that the company must do what is best for the business. Virgin Orbit declined to comment further for this video. But this isn't necessarily the end for the company. Virgin Orbit is hoping to find an investor to buy them out of bankruptcy. Um, I'm optimistic uh, that we'll find a partner who wants to take us forward. And for now, the company is still planning more launches.